What's going on, my friends? This is Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. We've got a returning guest this morning. The gentleman's name is Eric. Some of you may know who he is. Let me turn my AC down because I'm I'm sure I'm sure it's going to get hot in here. All right. So uh, Monday, Monday. Listen, get a text message reminder every morning. Build this into your routine. When we go live, uh, we send a text message right out. This is my my AC screen, but um, it'll be landing here in my inbox here any moment. Uh, look at that. Look at that. Just got it. 1001. Um, little text message reminder with the link right there. It's all we do every day is just send, you know, five days a week is just send that. No other nonsense. No other spam. You can text the words, the letters W-U-L to 813-296-8553 and build that into your routine, build the show into your routine. Uh, and what I've said before is if you listen to, you know, what's being said and what's being talked about for a significant period of time, you will be a different person. Uh, you will be a different person. And uh, I think this morning's guest is a great example of that. Eric, welcome to the show, my brother. Hey, what's going on, Dave? How are you doing this morning? I'm excellent, man. I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little groggy, you know. But um, that's why I do this show is so I can wake up legendary. You know what yeah, I mean? Absolutely. It is Monday. You know, actually, you know, when you're in this business, it doesn't matter. All the days run together, anyways. But yeah. Monday is a special day, especially for everybody out there. But you know, myself too. It's the beginning of the week. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So catch everybody up to, you know, your background how you found us how you know what you were doing before this just give us a little nutshell snapshot of you know before we talk about how life has changed for you and it has dramatically you're going to talk about that i i know but give us a snapshot so people can see where you came from uh relate a little bit to some of the pain right and let's not talk about all the glory without some of the um you know, some of the, some of that, that darkness, you know what I mean? And let people, yeah. people relate to some of that uh, real quick, Eric. Absolutely. So my journey started basically about a year ago. Okay. And before that journey, um, I was in and out of prison. I've been to prison five times for five DUIs. My set, my first DUI was in Arizona for the second one. Uh, they set me up, you know, their DUI camps. I'm not like some big hard criminal or nothing, but I had a problem with addiction and drinking. And I've done construction my entire life. And typically what comes with construction is uh, financial problems, some kind of you know, drug or addiction problem, and you know, definitely some kind of criminal history of some sort, uh, typically. Um, and so I ran in that, I fall in that, that, car, that uh, criteria. And so anyways, fast forward, you know, I just kind of lived this life of you know, working all the time in the mines, working construction, always being gone, but always had this addiction problem. Um, and, you know, facing the roadblocks of, you know, letting my, my loved ones down. Um, you know, I was a selfish individual. I only cared about myself. Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't look um, around me and, and, and take advantage of all of the blessings and look at the small things and take, you know, just be grateful for the small things in life then. And, um, you, know, you know, fast forward, you know, I come, I get out of prison May 15th of 2020. Um, at, this, at this time, I have 13 months clean and sober. Um, I'm in prison. I work out, you know. Pretty heavy, pretty pretty fit, um, like 180 pounds at five seven. Um, not you know, not my ideal way, but either way, I get out super healthy, and that's what it's all about. And I had this objective in prison to to better my life all around. You know, from smoke, quit smoking, to work out every day, to you know, finances. It doesn't matter. I didn't have a plan of going to work online. I had a plan to get out just to better myself, do something different. But I always had in the back of my mind, no matter what, I was probably going to die at 70 years old, still working construction because I had no retirement. Um, to this, you know, now then, then if I were to die, honestly, there wouldn't be too many people that went to my funeral and that's a God's honest truth. Um, today, um, you know, it's only been about a year. I could say that there's quite a bit of people that probably showed up to my funeral. And so with that being said, I had these struggles. Um, I got out of prison. I worked really hard, 60, 70, 80 hours a week, sometimes construction. Um, and at the time I was doing flagging, um, and I, you know, I, I was scrolling Facebook one, one day and I think I came, I, I don't know, it wasn't Tyler. It was somebody's. It was somebody's uh, Facebook post um, in regards to legendary marketers. Like, hey, check out this training. Well, I checked out the training. I kind of watched the video, and then I didn't buy. Then I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Wasn't convinced. I jumped on YouTube. I started researching, 
And um, yeah, it's been crazy. I searched YouTube and I found all these other people and I started finding these ideas. So I searched YouTube for four months straight, maybe five months straight, and just trying to put the pieces together. I started figuring out things here and there, but for the most part, it was a struggle. Um, and then I didn't want to invest $7 in myself. You know, I figured like I'm a strong person. I've already overcome, overcome a lot in my life and I don't need to invest any kind of money into that you know, program. So anyways, I ended up investing $7. Um, and from that point, like my life is catapulted to the next dimension um, while working a nine to five. And, you know, and the roadblocks I was, that I was struggling with was no time in, with family. I was, all, I was gone majority of my life in prison pretty much. You know, if I was gone, I was on the road. And so I have two kids, I'm married. And so with that being said, I didn't want to get out of prison and, and live that same destructive life going back into construction because I know where it gets me. I want to be one of the fellas. I want to go drink after work, whatever. Um, but I wanted something different. And so, you know, from that point forward, you know, I took advantage of the seven day or the 15 day training for seven bucks. And I kind of like played around with it here and there. I didn't really apply myself. But I tell you what, um, since then, it's been about a year now. Uh, my life has actually changed. For, it's just crazy. Um, it, it, you know, it's unbelievable. When I tell people that they're, they, 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 you know, they're trolls out there online, they don't believe it. Uh, you know, they, they constantly question you and the, the, your integrity and, you know, how transparent you are. But either way, um, it's all real. Um, and your life can literally change uh, in the blink of an eye with one, one video or one post or just one idea. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how, how much I can relate to your story, um, you know, with, with addiction and, um, and, you know, construction. And uh, it's, it's interesting that hearing my initial story first in, in the sales video that you didn't just buy right, right that moment. Uh, I, I think that I don't, I don't know what you would attribute that to, but either, I mean, you said, I think you said it, you said, uh, you know, maybe I didn't feel like either I was worthy of investing in myself or I felt like I could just do it on my own. But, but either way, it's, it was interesting because, uh, you know, we have such similar backgrounds, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's really, it's really, it's really amazing, you know, with, with, uh, a record, with a past addiction, with, you know, coming from construction, I think that you've put, you've punched holes in all of the typical objections that somebody has, you know, like I need to be tech savvy. I need to have degrees. I need to be this, you know, you know, clean slate citizen in order to be, I mean, the, the beautiful thing is, is that, is that when we, when we open up our closet and say, you know what, here are my skeletons. Number one, it takes all the power away from anybody being able to use those skeletons against you. And it sets you free to be able to talk with so much more confidence and conviction. And that's what I see you doing. And the, the other, the, the, the second thing is, is that people also have skeletons in their closet. We all do. Mm -hmm. And so when you open up, and you say, "Hey, here are my skeletons in my closet," and tell your story like you're like you do. Um, it, it's amazing how it becomes magnetic, isn't it? It's almost magnetic marketing. Would you would you agree with that? And at first, were you hesitant about being so honest with your past? Well, yeah, you know, yeah. About magnetic marketing, it's one hundred percent. You know, negative and positive they attract, and like it's just crazy how you could tell your story and just be authentic and people will gravitate to you because they've been through those roadblocks or trials and tribulations in your life. And was it hard for me to come out with my story right at the gate? Absolutely. Because I've dealt with so much people prejudging me throughout my life. You know, um, you know, I didn't typically care too much um, in, in society itself, but I was putting myself out there online and I was actually exposing myself in front of literally millions of people. Um, and telling my story right so i had to really really focus on what i really wanted to tell at first i didn't want to let all of the eggs out the basket because i don't want to scare people away i you know because there's still stuff i'm probably going to gradually bring out just to keep you guys entertained but for the most part i'm going to bring everything out because i would have a lot less followers today because they would only see the bad and not the good um they wouldn't see the hero's journey right and so yeah. I think if for a person that's either been in a struggle um, in, you know, in trouble or drinking or any kind of addiction, it doesn't matter what it is. We all have a story and we can resonate with so many people out there that mm -hmm. can that we can 
talk to on a personable level without actually talking to that person and just by your storytelling 100 percent yeah yeah uh it's it's interesting you you mentioned the hero's journey and that's exactly what uh that's exactly the the most pa- i mean that's exactly what we've all been watching and sort of listening to our whole lives if you think back to the childhood stories that you listen to if you think to the movies that you watch these people that that are are heroes to you you know think about your favorite Think about your favorite movie. Think about the, your favorite character within that movie. Think about The Sopranos, right? I mean, think about you know, uh, think about think about Scarface, Tony Montana. Mm-hmm. You know, think about think about uh, you know, think about all just whatever your whatever your somebody who comes to mind of of a movie. Maybe it was. I mean, I like I like mob movies. I like mafia movies. So I mean, right. I, I'm super entertained by by those. I just watched. Uh, Lewinsky or uh, I just watched another one on on Amazon Prime the other night it was really good Lewski or something like that it was about a, one of the one of the original founders of the American crime syndicate and just you know I I have no criminal history that's even remotely close to what the, you know a lot of these mobsters have done but just there's a human side to them as well You know, there's a human side to them. And most of what we do is simply just survival skills. You know, it's just surviving or it's all we knew. It was what was modeled for us when we were growing up and and we weren't exposed to uh, a different, better way. Uh, We didn't have role models, whatever the whatever the case may be. But the beautiful thing about the hero's journey and learning how to tell your story, I like to say what it was like what happened and what it's like now. And that was the way that I was taught originally, not even in business, just in recovery programs and stuff like that about how to tell my story, what it was like, what happened and what it's like now. And if you dig into some of these, the plots of of movies that we've been watching for years and years, it's all the same kind of script. It's that the, the, the hero ha- was... A, originally a loser you know or was originally just an average guy or girl was somebody who was looked down on was somebody who was um made fun of right? right and and then and then discovered a superpower or found a guide or had a mission right came up against some sort of big hurdle they had to overcome and then they tried and failed Right at first, but then they found some sort of a guide or some sort of a mentor or some sort of a, a, a you know some sort of a secret, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Or or realized they had a secret power or something, and then all of a sudden they went and saved the world or, or whatever it is. It's always the same. Like if you look at the all the you know the Marvel movies, all of these different Disney movies, they're all kind of the same plot, and. Yeah, Rocky's a great movie that that somebody mentioned in the comments. Um, so it, many of us are hesitant to tell our story, but the truth is, is that uh, a there's two truths. A you don't have to tell your story, and you don't have to go into being so transparent about things in the past. You can still be successful even if you choose not to do that. But two, if you do choose to do that, then um, embracing your realness and embracing the fact that you have a mess or had a mess in either are overcoming or overcame it is one of the most inspirational things for people to listen to and are in our and have now gone from the big screen into real life and you actually become sort of like a movie star on TikTok or Instagram people look up to you because they're sitting there watching your videos the same way that they've sat and watched movies on the TV screen. Have right. you been surprised by the reaction that you are now getting from people when you acknowledge them or comment back almost as if they have you now on a pedestal and you know that you're just an average guy, but are, are you amazed? What I'm trying to communicate to our listeners is the power that anyone has at their fingertips to become an influencer by simply just creating content. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna kind of back up a little bit and being, I don't wanna deter anybody uh, from this business if you don't have a criminal history or a backstory like mine, um, because everybody has a story. You could be the frontline worker, right? You're a traveling nurse. I just 
started working with a traveling nurse. Um, she's, you know, making 4K a week, but she's gone all of the time, right? She has no time in the family. She's constantly working. They're not really respecting her too much in the medical industry. Um, they're threatening her with different uh, mandates, I guess you could say, to keep it, you know, simple and less political, like the jab, right? Anyways, and there's thousands of people out there that are experiencing the same thing. There's millions of nurses out there that are experiencing the same thing. So if you look at your journey up to that point, okay, you started out in grade school, you were doing well, you done sports, um, you had a little falling out here and there, you got your job doing this, then you jumped into the medical industry. Then the, for the next 25 years, that's your story. Your story is being in the medical industry for 25 years and having these roadblocks, waking up early, sitting in traffic, not being close to family. Um, all of these things, whatever a struggle a nurse would go through, you can relate that. So just to cover, just to clear that up, you don't have to have a criminal history to tell your story. You could be a hero in anybody's eyes. And to answer your second question, um, yes, uh, I do respond. When I first started, I was responding to every message. But as time goes, you start getting gravity on TikTok. Um, you'll literally get thousands of messages a day, hundreds, if not thousands a day, if, especially if a video goes viral. Yeah. And um, and when you do respond back, it, typically when you see the message, it's like, hey, Eric, I've been watching you for a long period of time. I've seen your story from the beginning. You went from a trailer to building your own office, yada, yada, yada. Um, and I don't know if you're going to respond back to this message or not, but I just want to let you know that you're you're inspiring me, blah, blah, blah. I, have, I, I probably should have just screenshot a whole bunch of these things. But yeah, they, they pretty much say, I don't know if you're going to ever respond back to me, but I just want to say, I appreciate you. Right. Yeah. And so, yeah, it does put you on that pedestal. And what happens at that point, being that I took on a role, a role of being a mentor and a coach, um, I found that I, I, I take it personal when I see people and I, I, I see their story and I, I really want, I see success in everybody, right? I see success in every person because everybody has a story, right? And so, you know, there's two ways you can look at this. The way I teach or the way I, the way I like learned, right? From like, you know, the story and then AA um, is you don't want to sell anything to anybody. All you're doing is helping people overcome boundaries and roadblocks in their life, right? If they're tired of going that nine to five, right? Show them another way, show them a solution to their problem, right? Or you can be the sales type or, you know, there's different types of ways you could go about this, but to feel more comfortable so you don't feel like, uh, what is that, an imposter? Tell your story, right? You don't have to say, I made $10,000 on online this month. And when you actually right. didn't, right? And then you start feeling guilty about what you're saying. Tell your story from the heart. And I'm telling you, people will resonate with you and you will catch fire. I started this TikTok six months ago and I have a hundred and something thousand followers. Then we'll get into that. But either way, tell your story, guys. And everybody has one. Yeah. Speaking of your TikTok, uh, you guys can check him out at Passive Income Eric. And um, what has been something that you know now about creating content? Because, I mean, really, it all starts with 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 running ads and whether you're running those ads and you're paying for them or whether you're posting videos and they're organic uh, and, and you're putting in the sweat equity versus, you know, paying to get them boosted and, and put in front of people. Either way, it's an advertisement. Oh, yeah. Let's not get it twisted. I mean, either way, it's an advertisement because they're both what good. They're both and, good. And they're both fine. They're both fine. And, and, at, and at a certain point, uh, you can do only you can do only free, only paid, or you can do both. As a matter of fact, we're we're running ads right now on TikTok. We're running ads on Google. I mean, we're we're uh, you know we do Facebook advertising, and uh, we do this show which is free every day, uh, in which we you know uh, put out on podcast and on our blog and all. So I mean, yes, many of our affiliates, many of our Many of our, our 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 students over the past couple of years have gravitated towards TikTok because Matt just sent me a a, 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 a snapshot of a gentleman that's a, a member of our community um, because you can make videos like this, okay? Because you can make in Eric, I'm sure you have tons of these as well, but I just thought I wanted to give this guy a shout out here real quick because. He did. This is such. I wanted to just show the power of 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 TikTok. Look at this. Would you see a woman and the kids and the dogs and me? I got a shotgun, a rifle, and a one video. Never said a word. I I don't even. B J McMullen. He's if you're watching and you're in the community major shout out, Eric, I'm sure you can relate to this, but 
he he put up a video within you know 24 hours actually uh let's see so it's been up there for a couple of days uh it's the second today of january third uh, okay so this has been up for three ish days and it's at 1.1 million views right and he's talking about firearm companies that have affiliate programs that will pay you to promote them never said a single word okay and just put up a cool f- song in the background sat there and and nodded his head right and uh has a 1.1 million views on this video um you know you talked about building a channel here and we've got your channel up on the on the uh on the screen here of in six months building up a, a over a hundred thousand followers I have never seen anything like this in my life. The opportunity that we have in front of us right now, and there have been people, Eric, that over the past couple of months have said, oh, TikTok is saturated. Oh, TikTok, the opportunity is gone. It's unbelievable, and it's only going to get bigger and better. There has never been anything like this. People, wake up. I'm telling you. It's unbelievable what's possible. Eric, tell us a little bit about what your experience with creating content in TikTok and just how how absolutely unbelievable this opportunity to go from swinging a hammer to throwing up a 15 second video and having sales coming in, you know, around the clock while you're sleeping, not having to leave your house. I mean, it's just it's unlike anything that I've ever seen before. Yeah, for sure. And to go back to the mad respect to that guy in his video, um, he's probably fairly new. I, I'm not sure. Oh, he, probably, probably. Right, probably fairly new. Awesome. And that one video changed his life. I bet you on that one video, he probably accumulated three to $5,000 in commissions, give or take. I'm saying right, maybe around there. Um, that's one video. Oh. All right. And so that's how it set, my, set me free. If he's with Legendary, I'm not sure. But that's how it set me free. On my video, uh, when I told my story, it's the God video. I'm not sure if you want to play it, but I like I, I caught this trend right when it came out. Um, that was like one of my very first videos. Really, it hit two million views, and literally that's what kind of catapulted my life. And now, yeah, when you guys are telling your story, I don't mean you have to tell your story every time, right? We can find we can find that video. I wanted to it's just pin, point it's out it's how long. Can you hear me right now, Eric? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. This this guy's first video that he that he posted was on December 17th. So within roughly about 10 days, his life completely changed. And you can see at the very beginning, he wasn't posting videos with his face. And then he probably said, you know what, screw it, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put myself out there. I'm gonna put my face out there. And then within a couple of days, okay. He's got a video that right here that's got 1.1 million views and took his account to 32,000 followers. Now, you're the one that you were talking about was what? And and tell and tell me what your oh your Eric. Um, right. I built sixty to sixty thousand followers in less than thirty days when I first started, and it's based off of one video. Um, How far see. down do I got to scroll? What? Pretty far. Let me because I got a lot of videos. I'm gonna send it to you in private chat. Okay. I mean, I saw one that you just had the other day that was that 50, was 50, yeah, 50. Yeah, it's far, but I want to keep going. It's pretty much at the bottom. So if you scroll okay. all the way to the bottom, um, but it's anyway, fine. Uh, you, fine. You, it's, 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 my pin post. it's a pin post that's in my uh, that's in my um, on the phone. You can't look at pin posts on a, your computer, I don't think. But either way, um, you don't necessarily, you don't have to tell your story in every video. And the way I help and the way I do my own videos is I go through every morning. Here's my schedule. Um, the night before I get six main things I need to get done for the day. And then the next morning I'll start out my day. I wake up at 4 a.m. and I, 4, 4.30, I hit the gym around 5, 5.30, um, go do my workout. I come home and I scroll TikTok for about 15 minutes. And all I'm doing is I have another phone that I'm actually going through TikTok, I'm trying to find something that's trending, okay? If I hear the same sound that's, say, trending like three or four times within like 10 scrolls, and I look at those people's accounts, I notice they have a lot of followers, they're onto something, right? So I'll take my other phone, and I'll actually save that song on the phone that I usually do my TikToks on and record the whole video. Now, it doesn't have to be 
in my niche. This could be something completely different. Totally. So within nuggets, the- nuggets, 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 right there. Nuggets. nuggets. It's better to get content and examples from other niches, uh, niches because oh, then all it, my content, every bit of my content, all original, pretty much. Like I, yeah, like, exactly. I don't, I don't look at. Yeah, I don't look at anybody that makes money online. Typically, I don't. I don't really look at nuggets. their content. Right, because that's what everybody else is freaking doing. I try to separate myself and be different, unique. So, anyways, 15 minutes in the morning, I'll scroll TikTok. That's all I give myself. 15 minutes, I'll get, I'll gather as many videos as I possibly can. Nugget, nugget, 15 minutes. That's all he gives himself. That's it, 15 minutes. That's for ideas. Then I have my breakfast. Um, I visit with my wife. I don't even check my legendary marketer account see if I can make any sales for the day. Nuggets. I don't want to set myself up mentally uh, as a, a downfall in the morning. So, oh man, I didn't make no sales during the night, and that's on my mind all day. So I'm going to go on my business first thing in the morning. Call that, call that huh? mental masturbation. Yes, absolutely, 100%. And then 45 minutes, I'll get in my office. Then I probably do an email. Then I spend 45 minutes building TikToks, right? That's it. 45 minutes, no matter how many I get done, edited, completely done. That should be three or four for the day. Um, and then that's not including the Sunday when I batch. Then I'll jump in my first task. Nuggets, I'll, not that I'll, Sunday morning, but church, church. Uh, that is my church. Hey, Sunday morning, I batch out content. I still got 20 videos in there from probably a week ago. I just kind of go through and I just pick the top one or I'll make another one inspiring. And then I'll say, so the next day I'll spend about 40 minutes or 35 minutes on each task. So my task in the morning can be like, okay, write emails or, you know, write emails, you know, do ad copy, something like that. 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Then I take a five minute break. I let my mind, because your mind's a muscle, right? And as you work your muscle, your brain, you burn calories just like a muscle when you go to the gym, right? Mm -hmm. So if you sit down and you sit there and focus for four hours straight on one object, within 45 minutes, you're focusing on TikTok over here. You got Instagram over here. It's not going correctly for you. So work for, this is the beginning. Train your muscle, your brain to work at 25 minute increments. Take a five minute break, Do do four tasks, and then you take a 30 minute break. So my task would be, uh, I, the, the TikTok, I don't even count as one of my tasks. That's just morning scrolling. Uh, 40 minutes of like email writing. And then I do maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes of um, Facebook group engagement, you know, responding to DMs, stuff like that. 45 yeah. minutes. That's all I give myself. Then I jump to something else. Maybe like engage in my Facebook group um, or maybe, you know, build more TikToks. It doesn't matter what it is, but I set myself up a schedule, usually four to six tasks, tasks a day. And I find that my business has a little bit each done each single day, not nothing done in one in single day so for a person that's beginning and and they're overwhelmed on a, on a plan and what to do each day prioritize yourself what's what's priority for the next uh, for the next day six things and then whatever you don't get done on that, that that day you follow it over to the next day and that's priority number one for the next day um and then just keep going at that and you'll get stronger um because when not when i go to the gym i don't go there to train my muscles i go there and i train my brain right it's a mental thing you have to push through okay. barriers Right. When you fall forward, when you fall, don't fall backwards, fall forward. Right. Reach out to a community. Reach out to a legendary marketer. When you're feeling down, come on the show. When you're feeling down, jump on my TikTok. I'm I'm full of energy. Can you tell? <laughs> okay, I'll let you talk now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all good shit, man. It's all good shit. It's, it's, it's about the content. Okay, now when I find my content, I grab my phone, I build my videos, um, I keep them stored in here for memory, so I'm not writing things down. Then if I want to come in my office and write my own scripts according to that video, then I'll do it. Um, now, when it comes to uh, trending videos in that person's video, like in their profile, I'll use TikTok sort or for, sort for TikTok. It's an app that you can actually sort people's viral videos to the top. Right. And you can utilize, you know, you can, see, you can see somebody's most popular videos there on there. All right. Um, and and for, there's three main components of a TikTok video, right? You have your hook, which is the most important thing. The second hook most important thing. Got him. Yeah. You gotta have a hook. your hook, your body, which is telling the story, because your hook's gotta hook the person. Then your body's gotta keep their pizza, the person's attention through that short-term content, short form content. TikTok, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, doesn't matter. Uh, watch time is what they really wanna focus on because TikTok is a is a is a platform. For people to engage on, as far as like the user's experience, right? People aren't getting on TikTok to learn how to make money online. I promise you, they're getting on TikTok to you know to scroll, to laugh, to to do it, to stitch, right? To act a fool, to shake booty, whatever. Reality. It is, right. So, reality. with that being said, you have to make your content extraordinary so if people get that watch time. You actually plant seeds into these this cold market. You plant seeds. 
warm them up through your content, they sprout and then they become a raging fan at that, after that point. So basically hook, body and call to action. Now your call to action at the end, it could be like click on the link in the bio. Um, for you guys who are under a thousand followers, I recommend building your following first, build that, that trust, that like, and that authenticity um, and that transparency with your followers up to a thousand, right? Utilizing only the trending sounds on your personal account. Don't jump to business. I've tried it. I have several accounts. It grew very slow. But either way, jump on your personal account, talk about your story, talk about what you're trying to do. And every time you learn something, if you guys learn something on this, on this uh, live today, I want you to go and, and, and build a TikTok about what you learned, like you are teaching somebody else. What that's going to do is for a new person, everybody starts out here, right? And the people that you talk to maybe a couple chapters below you, right? And so when you start putting out information, like, okay, this is how you connect your autoresponder and your AWeber, or Eric drops, or oh, I learned this today, um, you know, the, the most important parts of a video is your hook, your body, and your call to action. So if you made a TikTok about that, now you're looking like an authority figure in your space with people that are like-minded, people that are a, a couple chapters below you. The people that are a couple of chapters by you might just pass by your video. They might just give you some love. But the ones that are below you, now you're building a community. So every time you put out content, every time you learn something, that's when you take that video. of people are, are, are not at your level yet. They haven't gotten started. Right, 100%. And so when you do this, you start pivot, you start positioning yourself as an authority figure in your space. Now you don't have to talk about you know finances, how much you make. You just talk about being transparent, building value, and then you walk into your office each day, not feeling like a counterfeit, but actually, you know what? I'm going to help somebody today. I'm going to help. I'm going to help somebody overcome their goals. I'm going to help overcome their waking up super early. I'm going to help them, you know, stop, you know, uh, leaving their family six months at a time to go work. I'm going to help with their financial freedom. I'm going to help with their roadblocks, right? If you think like that and not worry and focus about the, the first commission, right? As soon as you take that out of the equation and just worry about helping somebody change their situation for the better, I promise you, it will, it will get better for you. It will. Yeah. yeah. It did for me. That one major thing I want to point out and highlight that you said was that the when we're starting out, we're afraid to talk about our small, our small wins, you know, like, like maybe, maybe I'm going to, I'm going to go into the make money online niche, which by the way, not the only niche you can go into, not the only niche you can go into, you can go into any niche that you want. We just happen to have a lot of people that go into the make money online niche because it's it's kind of what they saw and then it, they you know it's 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 something that is profitable and it's something that is is fairly easy to talk about because everybody wants to um, everybody wants to uh, you know make more money and have more freedom right so it's it's a it's a fairly easy topic to talk about but so so a lot of people get started and they haven't made any money and they feel like, as you said, they feel fraudulent. They feel like an imposter. You said counterfeit, right? I said fugazi. They feel, they feel fake, right? Because they, they, they think that they need big results to be able to inspire somebody. But, um, and so they're, they, what they do is they take no action because they feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. But what you said was, Talk about your wins, no matter how big or small. Talk about what you're learning, no matter how impactful you think it's going to be, because the majority of people on TikTok have not even gotten started yet. They, they, they're not on there trying to get business information. They're on there trying to escape their reality. They're on there scrolling, trying to make pat time go by at their job. They're, they're, they're on there because, you know, they're at dinner with their family and, you know, people, you, you see it all the time. It's a challenge not to be on your phone when you're sitting at, at, with your friends and family. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's like reality can be hard. This is not reality. What this is, this is, this is virtual reality. All right. It's not real reality. It's not what's happening in front of our face, which oftentimes can be hard and boring, Right. Not enough money. The reality of most people's lives is there's more lives is more month at the end of the money, not more money at the end of the month, right? So they come on TikTok and now they hear somebody who is speaking not like an expert, but like a real everyday common person who says, 
you know, hey, look, I, I, I just started a business. I'm generate. I generated five leads today. Want to want to see how I did it? Click the link in my bio, right? I'll show you how I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. We don't always have to talk about five thousand dollars per day. We don't always have to talk about making tons of money. A lot of times we can talk about small wins, things that we learned. Um, we can talk about uh, leads generated, how I built a funnel today in, in 30 minutes. Let me show you how, right? Sometimes we can talk about those things and they're just as powerful or more powerful than, than these big numbers that people might even be skeptical about. Like, I don't believe you, right? It's pretty easy to believe that somebody generated five leads in a day. It's not always easy to believe that somebody made $5,000 in a day because most people have never done that before. So when you start talking about those things that they've never even done, it becomes this, this, this sort of this, this big, almost like too good to be true. Right. And so, um, we go back to that learn, do teach concept. And that 100%. seems like something that you preach, you teach, you talk about, and you've done, um, Talk just briefly about that point in your own words and reiterate for people one more time that the majority of people on TikTok aren't business experts, are, are people who would love to transform and change their life. They're on there for some entertainment. And if you have the right hook and you're authentic enough and, you, and, you, and you're entertaining, you mix entertainment with your education, edutainment, mm -hmm. then it doesn't matter if you're in your first week like BJ, who we just saw, and has a video with 1.1 million views within 10 days. You just have to be able to find the courage to be able to put the camera up in front of your face and get started. Would you agree with that? Yeah, 100%. Um, and what I kind of, in my TikToks, I help people with that are camera shy uh, is to not necessarily look at the camera, but actually have another person there, have the camera off to the side. If you're trying to talk about your story, if that's what you want to do. Um, and the process is duplicatable. Your story is duplicatable, right? Um, you know, it's just a type of marketing you can actually teach to somebody else. So if you can get comfortable on the camera, you don't have to, you don't even have to show your face in this business. And if you're not in the, the make money niche, you don't have to, uh, excuse me, if you, if, you're, if you are in the money make money niche, you don't have to, show and flash money you just got to tell your story and be authentic and so as you're making these videos and you're coming to the point where hey i need to you know show my face on camera i'm ready to break through this plateau you can start stacking up drafts and just practicing even having a conversation with aunt louise you know um talking to her and hey this is the fastest way to make five thousand dollars this is the fastest way to put your funnel together in three z steps and you can you don't have to be looking at the, the, the camera number step number one then you can take the camera out of the equation take the phone now you could be doing a, a, a like an educational thing just showing uh or just educating on your screen your computer right um so there's so many ways to do it don't let that stop you and if you're in like the health niche you know, yeah, you know, if you haven't made any money in that niche just talk about what that product or service or whatever it is what kind of roadblock it can help for somebody like collagen right some people have like collagen uh, in their skin some kind of problem with their, their collagen so if you take this product um, you know, you can actually help with it. So say I've been, I've been having problems with my collagen for 15 years. Um, as soon as I started taking this simple product, I noticed a big a dramatic change in my life. If you want more information, just go ahead and comment information. Because what happens is rather than sending people your link every time, you want to build your TikTok by likes, comments, views, shares, all that stuff. You can hit those rounds. That's like recipe for viral. Um, and the way it works is your video is going to go out to your followers first. And once they start engaging on it, liking it, commenting on it, whatever, it's going to push it further out and further out and further out from what I've noticed, right? Um, there's no set stone on how this algorithm works. It's designed because it's an algorithm to keep us on our toes. And it changes all the time by itself either way. And so, but what I've noticed is the watch time, your hook, your, your body, and your call to action. And so it's, it, it doesn't, you don't have to be in the money-making niche. You could be in any niche. Just talk about how you could overcome somebody's roadblock with your product or service and also talk about your fails too, um, not just your wins, because we are human. We are connecting with individuals that are on TikTok that are human. They're people with feelings. They, like, you know what I mean? So if we can connect with those people, show our wins and our losses, they can be more relatable, right? But then at the end of that loss, it's not really a loss. It's just kind of like a stumble. Show them how you fell forward, 
and you became that authority, right? Rather than falling backwards and giving up, you fell forward and it dove deeper. Yeah. Drop that mic, boy. Hey, I'm telling you, come to my Facebook group, come to my TikTok, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm all about giving free value at any point, any time. And I got some stuff going on for this year, uh, Dave. It's going to be astronomical. Sweet, brother. Well, listen, man, it's 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 inspiring. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful story that I love to hear. Thanks for coming back on the show for, is this your second or third time on? I, I don't second. know. Okay. Yeah, just so you guys know, I started in a trailer. Uh, the first show, I was in a five by five space. I had a wooden desk, and this junk came from the the, the, the thrift store. My computer's from 2014, you just like a hand me down, and my webcam came from the same thrift store I got my damn uh, desk at. And then that was in like literally, I'm in a two bedroom trailer, it's nice, but me and my wife share a room. And so for 11 months, or for like, yeah, for a lot of months, I, I struggled in there and then I actually built this place. It's actually a, a tiny home. Um, I'm yeah. a construction worker, so we got this thing completely gutted. If you guys know my story, I ended up building this out, trimming it out. The only thing we haven't done, so I got my vision board right here, right? I got my educational stuff here. Um, and then the only thing I haven't done is the trim yet on the window, because um, that trim is right here. It's just snow much. I don't know if you can see that outside, but it's it's snowing pretty good. Either oh, way, wow. um, we kind of got it all set up in here. Where are you? So where, do you up, like, where do you live? I live in Libby, Montana. Really, Libby, Montana. Yeah, twenty five hundred people. There's nothing here. Wow. To, to go to Walmart's an hour and forty five minutes. Like when I got my, I think okay, I got my braces this year, my knee surgery, my wife retired. I retired my wife so she could homeschool my son. I got okay. My 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 grill's been fucked up for a long time. Excuse my language, but it looks like I've been chewing on rocks and shit, right? And so I've been having this complex my whole life, and to get on camera and TikTok with a grill that looks like this, it's been difficult, right? But now I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get braces. As soon as I make some good money, I'm gonna I'm gonna get braces. I manifested everything through a vision board. Me, and my wow. wife. This is our second vision board. You know, what I mean that there's a two million dollar home on that one. Mm. But either way, I've manifested braces, a knee surgery, this place. You know, what I mean everything is just. You guys don't fucking give up, dude. Don't. Yeah. You know what I mean push forward. It might happen sooner. It might happen later. But it's good. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna happen. You put the. All right, I'll let you let me go now, Jay. I'm, I'm done talking. I'm fired up for today, man. Uh, I still too. got it. Man, it's a great day. It's a, it's a great day. You remind me of, of me when I got started, man. I mean, just, you know, just grinding, you know, just driving, driving, driving old rust bucket trucks, living in. I just drove by the house that I lived in the other day, and it just looked so small, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just and it didn't take, it didn't take 10 years. I mean, I, I've been doing this for over 10 years, but life started to change dramatically within a couple of years, within 24 months, I was in a neighborhood to where, you know, people were looking at me saying this young kid must be a drug dealer or something. Right. right? Because, you know, he never leaves his house and, you know, he's, there's no way, you know, he can, he can afford to live here. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it was about 24 months in my life dramatically, changed i was in a completely different neighborhood driving a range rover you know it was 2000 and 2010 ish and 2010 2011 ish and i went and i bought a a used range rover for like 13 or 14 grand so here i am driving my dream car you know and i've got i'm, I'm renting my dream house you know what i mean um, that was even before I actually owned a house, you know, now I, now I own, uh, now I own almost 10 homes, you know, m many of them are rentals, but, um, it's amazing, man. I mean, you were just talking about, you were talking about working on the, the wood desk and working on the laptop that you got from the thrift store. I mean, th those are all things that I did. I worked on, I worked on dressers. I have had a dresser that was a, a desk. And the truth is, is that nowadays I don't really need anything that's special. I've gone up the production line of having all this fancy video equipment and shit. And now I just use the, the webcam on my computer because I, I've realized after 10 years that, you know, nobody cares about the production value. They just care about the quality of the content, the realness of you who's delivering the content. They don't need you to be perfect. They don't want you to be perfect. They just want you to be real. 
and and that's definitely what you are, my brother. So I'm looking forward to round three in in the very near future. Stay legendary, my brother. And I'll talk. I get to you. copy this, Dave. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey. Well, let's talk. Right, so we're gonna put it on YouTube, so you can go to YouTube, and you can download it from YouTube. You can download any video from YouTube. Just just uh, just um, I use the Y2 Mate. I think is what it is. Yeah, there was one I was using for a while, and it stopped. They stopped working. Yeah, just, 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 you, yeah, just Google uh, YouTube downloader and you can yeah. figure it out and just download it right from our YouTube channel right when we when we post it up here in the next 24 hours or so. But stay legendary, my brother. OK, and if anything okay. else, you can just 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 hit me up, hit us up and, and we'll, we'll get it to you. But uh, keep up the good work, man. Keep keep yeah, doing it. it. Thank you very much. You guys have a blessed day. Everybody out there. If you guys struggling? Let me know. Holler at the boy. I got you. <laughs> See you. All right, my friends, give Eric a follow at Passive Income Eric. And, uh, you know, at the very least, at the very minimum, um, you know, lift him up and and support him in his journey. Uh, and that's what we do in this community is we is we is we support each other. Uh, we we lift people up through commenting on their stuff, through liking their stuff, through sending them good energy, you know, through sending them a DM and saying, hey, appreciated all your nuggets and, and so forth. You know what I mean? Just what I'm saying is it's not just about taking, it's also about giving and lifting each other up, no matter who you are or where you're at in the journey. If you're brand new, you can still lift me up, right? I appreciate every time that somebody sends a like or, you know, drops a comment or comes on and tunes into the show because it keeps me moving forward, right? It lets me know that my work matters. And so that's how we support each other. So make sure that you support Eric as well as be supported by Eric. And we'll see your asses tomorrow for another episode. Get out of here. Peace. <laughs>